tonight is fall transformation. So at least it's the removal of the plants so we can soon do fall transformation. Hi, I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings and today we're gonna show you what we are doing to just kind of get rid of all the plants that say summer and preparations for bringing plants in that say fall. I'm gonna apologize off the bat. I didn't know we were working on this tonight so I don't have my recording um, equipment with me so the sound might be a little bit off but I think this is gonna be fun watching so please stick with us and watch as we do our fall transformation. So Rod just got one of the aqua pots emptied out. Uh, we've got a few more to go but I think you're gonna be kind of uh, in shock as to how he had to do it. So let's watch him as he does the next one. So they're very heavy. There's a lot of root growth going on there. We planted the cypress grass. This is the queen tut, which is a water loving plant. So the root system is incredibly huge in these aqua pots. Uh, so we'll see if he, yeah, he's gonna do it. So he's taking his feet. It's gonna hold the pot in place using his arms as he's pulling to loosen it up. That one came out a little easier than the first one did. Check out that root ball. So the roots went well past uh, the little cartridge that's in place to create the water reservoir. Kind of snuck around it. So he's going to remove the disc which creates the water reservoir off. You can see we put soil down into the down into that tube there. So he's just kind of peeling the roots off to get the soil out of that tube. But definitely when using plants in the aqua pot, you want to be careful what you're planting because the water loving plants are going to certainly have more root system than those that maybe aren't as water loving. draining all the excess water out of this aqua pot just to alleviate some of the extra added weight. So this one here, these plants aren't near as water, or they're not as thirsty as the uh, cypress grass that were in the other container, so they don't go through as much water. So when he's going to pull this out, I think what we're gonna find is that the soil, the root ball isn't gonna be near as compact and as rooty uh, as the first two. So this one might be a little bit messier um, to remove. We'll see here in just a moment. I was really happy though with how this planter turned out this year. Um, just a fun mix of different and unusual annuals. We'll go in closer and we can kind of see. Yeah, so you definitely can see there's not near as much roots on that uh, soil ball. I mean, there's plenty of roots there, but not near as much as what we're on the grass. So this one's gonna be a little bit harder for him to just pick up and move without that uh, soil ball kind of falling apart everywhere. So we'll see how this goes. Just draining out some of the extra water. Yeah, this one's making a real kind of a muddy mess. So this one we're calling in the recruits to help with moving it. Just try to move it as cleanly, if that's a word, as possible without it falling apart. You can see all the soil sitting there on the porch. They might just have to get a shovel or a wheelbarrow or something to move this one. Drug tub to the rescue. These are the best little pails or tubs. They got handles on them. They're great for in the garden. Uh, we use them a lot like if we happen to go out weeding, just throw the weeds in them and carry the weeds to the recycle bin. But yeah. That's helping move that baby a little easier. Tipping this one over to get the water out of it. These are huge aqua pots. Now they're digging into the big aqua pots that were on either side of my entrance to the garage. And this one too, it looks like it's probably got a pretty good root system going on on the plants that are in it. Now, some of you might be cringing right now because you're gonna say, oh, these plants, they still look nice. Why are you doing this? And I get that every year. People get mad at me for removing my annuals. Well, it's just time. Like I'm annual season around here is done in Michigan. It's time to do our fall transformation. And for me personally, it's time for me to make a change. Um, the plants that I planted, they owe me nothing. I've had months and months of enjoyment out of them. 
Uh, so now I'm just ready to, you know, get the fall look going and getting some more enjoyment out of garden moms and just my fall decor plants. You can see they're struggling here a little bit, getting the plants removed out of the aqua pot. So we'll see. We'll see how they finally do it. I think they're going to probably take it into the grass because we certainly don't want to crack these aqua pots because they're they're not cheap. So we'll see if he's going to do the method. Okay, so sit and pull. There we go. Nice root system there. And I think a lot of those roots are actually coming from the sweet potato vine, which tends to be a pretty aggressive uh, plant with a lot of roots as well. All right, so Rod is armed with his Hori Hori Corona knife, and he's going to go ahead and basically there's five annuals planted in this huge long row and he's just going to go to the base of each of these annuals and trim right there at the pot so we do the pot in the pot method which is super easy for um, watering and fertilizing and also it doesn't mess up our stones every year so basically he's just going to roll back the red carpet i think this is always fascinating every year when we do this video uh, just to see how easy it is and the cleanup is just a matter of a little trim and a little roll. So like I mentioned, we have five pots that we have buried in the ground. And in each of those pots, we plant one Supertunia Vista Jazzberry Petunia in a separate pot that is the same size. In the spring, we set the pot inside the pot and just let them grow all summer. They are on drip irrigation, so they are getting watered and fertilized, uh, watered every day and fertilized regularly. And that's what helps keep our petunias looking great all summer long. So he's just about finished here with the fifth one. And you can see how he's rolled the carpet of petunias up. It's gonna fold it over here a little bit. And I would say each of those petunias was well over three foot wide. So one little Supertunia Vista Jazzberry went three foot wide for the summer. So what do you think about that for quick and easy cleanup? Rod thinks it's a breeze. For more information on how we planted these up in the spring or just showing you other years of how we've done this cleanup, head down to the comments below or the links below in our YouTube channel. I'll have links to different YouTube videos that we've done that are a little bit more detailed in the process and how we do it if you have additional questions. For this pot, Rod's just using the Hori Hori knife to remove the tops off of the plants like you can see. Um, we're gonna actually just kind of dig out the rootiness that might be in this pot, pull out the big chunks. And because it's fall and the plants we're gonna plant into here don't need to live for any amount of time, we're gonna just use some of that soil again. Uh, typically, like I said, we don't recommend that, uh, but we know there's a lot of fresh soil still down in there. So we're gonna plant probably some garden moms, maybe some pansies, those types of things in there. And they're probably only gonna live for about a month or so. So I'm not worried about having soil that's full of nutrients for them to make it through the season. They're only gonna live about a month or so. So um, we're just gonna save on the soil. I never ever recommend reusing your soil though when you're planting your containers in the spring. It's always important to use fresh new soil every spring. And the reason is, is your annuals, they're heavy feeders usually, they like a lot of fertilizer and any fertilizer, any nutrients that were in the soil from the year previous are totally depleted. A lot of times you'll find that the soil is really rooty and the plants just don't grow well in used potting soil. So for your spring containers, always use fresh soil when you are planting. Now it's time to get rid of the baskets. This is hard because these look really good yet. But if you could see them from the back side, there's absolutely no flowers. See, that's kind of the back side. Very sparse on flowers.
quite a canopy that those made. Trailed about three, three and a half foot down off the baskets. There was five plants to start off with. Two Supertunia Vista Jazzberries, two Supertunia Mini Vista White, and actually I guess there were six. Um, There's two Mini Vista Midnights. And you can see the Jazzberries definitely took over from the time we got to the end of the summer. And that's a wrap. Now it's time for fall, y'all. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings. 